We're here at Kinlock, and with me is one of the friends of the show, Greg Turner. Greg, how'd you go out there today? I tell you, it was it was interesting. It's my first time around here. I, I was here during construction, but I haven't seen it finished. And uh, we had a good breeze today. It's a test, it, but fantastic. I'm um, really, really impressed. One of the better courses you've played? Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, it's world class. I mean, you know, you can, uh, uh, you couldn't help if you're a golfer. You couldn't help but enjoy yourself out there. I mean, it's a challenge, and it's there's lots to it. I like. I mean, of course, I think you want to play more than once. And you're the newly appointed chairman of the New Zealand Golf Tourism Initiative. What what is the New Zealand Golf Tourism Initiative? Well, basically, it's it's something that's been brewing for a while. But you know, there's been a huge investment, as as you guys have covered in your in your show, in golf in New Zealand over the last sort of 10 or 15 years. And and you know, now we've got the full spectrum, if you like, of golf product to sit alongside all of the other things that um, that New Zealand offers from a tourism perspective. And um, and I don't think a lot of the world, you know, we haven't really gone out there and told the world about it. And um, with the likes of this and the, and the likes of the stuff that's happening in Queenstown, you know, obviously there's cowrie and, and kidnappers, then it's truly world class. And um, you know, we think there's a real opportunity to, to tell that story and, and to get more golfers um, you know, to come to New Zealand and, and, and see, see the whole country and play golf. And what would be the, the key message or the story that you're trying to get out to, to, the, to the target markets? Look, I, I think the thing about New Zealand is it is that full spectrum. Um, you know, it's now everything from the world class facilities that you see at the likes of places like this, right down to some really quirky country courses and you know, cheap and cheerful. It's it's the people, um, it's it's their members clubs. Uh, you can you can get a feel for New Zealand, and they're all set in all sorts of different locations. You know, spectacular scenery. So that's kind of what golf in New Zealand is about. It's a little bit of everything. Um, but we've now got the complete package. Absolutely, you have. And, and when you were out playing, like when, in your glory days, what, what was the perception of New Zealand golf in those days? Because you didn't have the facilities and the courses you do now, do you? Well, we, there wasn't a complete picture, and I, you know, I, I sort of liken it to if, you know, if the Mona Lisa didn't have a nose, everybody'd say, "What a strange painting without a nose," you know. And when the nose goes on, the nose isn't the story; it just completes the picture. And um, you know, there wasn't a lot talked about New Zealand golf because there wasn't a lot to talk about. And um, you know, one of the reasons I was interested in getting into golf course design is that I. I thought there was a real opportunity to, to build some new product in New Zealand that would f close that gap, and um, and it's happened. You know, we've been lucky to do a little bit of in our own design business, but it's happened you know, with all sorts of people as well. And the future for New Zealand golf? Look, I think it's really it's really solid. Um, you know, there's there's some fantastic facilities now, and New Zealand's a great tourism destination. You know, there's just so much stuff to do. Golfers do more other stuff than any other niche sector. So. Uh, you know, if you want to go tramping, you want to go cycling, you want to drink wine and eat food, then you know, go and look at scenery. There's not too many places better in the world. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for being on Golf Getaway. Hey, always a pleasure.